Okay, what you haven't seen is up till now I've been trying to make up some leads with dual stackable banana plugs on one end and the ones I got, cheap ones from AliExpress, I will, well, I put away but I will probably throw them out. I was having all sorts of trouble and then I decided to get one, no soldering, no anything, simply trying to open it and then close it. Couldn't even get that done. Broke two of them, so I've ordered some made up. These are the leads I was trying to make. Can't get the bloody things closed, so useless, so I'm gonna Throw that plug to the crapper. Come on. I think those are getting a bit blunt. That's all right. I, they're so cheap I bought a carton of them. Come here, Fat Max. In case you've ever wondered what these holes are for, you can actually, usually, stick a, another banana plug in there and make them a double up, but when you've got one in the power supply, you don't want to be pressing down horizontally like that. This is my favourite multimeter because it has auto power off. My first multimeter, which I still have, didn't have that. And uh, so it's forever for getting turned off and flattening the batteries on it. So now we can... tests for continuity. You won't need to see that because you'll hear it. Okay. We have continuity in that lead. So that's one done. Okay, let's see if we've got continuity now. Oh, where's the other end? The other end's got all tangled up. Where are you? Over here. Okay, let's go. Come on, get out of there. Okay. Continuity test. Uh, yeah. Put you on that end. Obviously, with the continuity test, there is no wrong way around. There's no negative or positive involved. Just the flow of electrons. Okay, that was a mess. Let's leave that there and have a look. 